What's up guys? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, in the last episode, we got through our classes. We are now waiting on some extra homework, I believe. Um, pretty soon, we're going to be heading into town with our classmate. Um, got to figure out what we've got to do next. Professor Ronan, I can't remember who that is. Uh, so, the kitty. Yeah, we needed to head into town to get some more supplies for school. Because if we remember correctly, sorry, the last lot got munched by a dragon. Ah, it's this dude. Okay, I'm pretty sure. It's, pretty sure it's this dude. He's got our extra. Oh, there you are. Here I am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay, so we got to do all these tasks first and then we learn the spell. What's, what's the, yeah, exactly. What is the point? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. We have to break the stuff so we can fix it. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Right, so... Collect flying pages near the broken... Flying page? Collect the flying page in the... Okay. So what is the... Is this this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Uh, I think it... I said it will pretty much stand, stand out. Got it. Got it. And now one is in the tower. Somewhere. Flying page must be around here somewhere. I wonder where it could be. Such a mystery. Impossible to find. It's fairly simple. Configuration courtyard. Huh. Okay, I thought I'd done that already, but anyway. I trust the preliminary tasks were back with the pages. I completed the assignments, Professor. Within Marvelous. like two seconds. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Vigor. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand oh, is God. a conduit of um... magic. Right, okay. Go, 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 go. Alright, come on. Almost. Yeah, uh, that's the one. Gotcha. New spell. We used to mend broken objects. Ooh, that's nifty. That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. I it was gonna. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Give it a go. Uh, see, I can only have four spells at a time. Seems a bit annoying. Uh, Repair up. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Fairly simple. 
Are we sure this... Oh, ooh, gold. <laughs> Are we sure this is something we wanted to repay? Right, so if I remember correctly, map. Right, let's see what else we got to do. Um, Hogsmeade, right, that's where we head into town. Nati or Nay is going to come with us. Ancient magic flow ancient. Okay, well, we'll figure that out as we go. Um, library annex. If I remember correctly, these dot blank ones are side missions or something but anyway we're not going to worry about those too much now um right off we go yeah because as i said before all our stuff that we brought to school before kind of got munched okay. kind of got munched by a dragon so we kind of have to go into town and replenish those plus we're gonna get our own wand tailor-made um pretty cool pretty excited to have a look at that let's just get there first what is it oh right sorry Look at that. What is I can see myself getting far too distracted with every everything. Literally everything. Ooh. What's this? Fingerless gloves? No way. Can we change our outfit? Maybe? Yeah. Let's see one. Aha! And where? Whoop. Balling. Quite legit. What is this one? Black leather gloves. Eh, not as cool. Uh, and where? Do we have a. Oh, God, no. Oh god no. <coughs> um neckwear. Beige nah, not my colour. Beige is boring. Okay, I'm guessing we don't have much well we we literally don't have much for now. Wand handles. Okay, we're going to sort that out shortly. Room's outfit. Ah, that's what... Yeah, of course. Okay, well, we're going to leave that for now. We're going to equip our... Our gloves, which is pretty epic. But, sorry. Sorry, Malfoy. Um... And now I'm going to be checking that everything moves. <laughs> Um, hello, hello, my friend. Thank you. Hello. You hello. Yeah. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again, and to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Can you give us a tour? Right, so. Is that it? We're pretty much going to get our new supplies, which I'm not too sure what they are. Books and such. Our new wand, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to see what else we can do. Because as, as far as I know, this is a slightly open world kind of experience. So it should, in essence, allow us to do few, a fair few things. Plus, give us a little bit of freedom to do what we want to. Basically.
don't look too excited. It's just outside the building. It's like the front door of Hogwarts. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better day in the village. I was what, what do you mean by the that? The timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. I'm the one who asked for you anyway. It was either that or the giga chad from Slytherin, and I thought, no, it's, it's all right. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose Nerd. you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. That's fair. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. I'm sure. <laughs> not not a winter cold, person, are we? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Africa is not very well known for snow. So. Oh, wait, over here. What? I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I'm guessing it's easy. Ugh. Okay, done. I don't know if we needed to do that. That was just a side note, but we got him now. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something's happening. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I wouldn't think that they're pretty easily startled, you know. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why? Just saw them now. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. I was Why just going to say. Limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, pretty much. We'll end up there shortly. The crest. Pass that ruin. Wait. That I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, That's since you're relatively saying. new here. She said that. Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly so, learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I thought somebody was living there. I figured it's maybe just a boathouse. But never mind. Um, how far is... Settling in. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? This I still back here. But it is beautiful here too. I'm getting out of I the castle and exploring Moonstone. helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you Get too. More? No, okay, I got them all. Sorry, what was that? Pause this place. Oh, here we go. I'm guessing that's it up there. I'm at some stage of. Mr. I'll... Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Mr. Moon? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you Ooh. might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, Turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Uh, oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrified. All right, mate. I shall be at the castle very soon. Good luck to both of you. Cheers, mate. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. It seems like. I will it. say that I have never seen things in this state. I don't know what. The 
there is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I don't know what all these things are, but I'm going to collect what I can, because it will come in use later. Right. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Juice. Maybe I should do my shopping first. I could not first. choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Good. About to say, let us rather just do my shopping first. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. I hope so. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you might navigate using the field map. Ugh. Oh my god. Ooh. I think that's me. Those new maps show shops and points of interest. You can track these by highlighting an area. Wizard wear. Okay, we need shop. Oh, shop is really close. Dressing for hairdressing. We'll need that. Beast supplies. Olive. Oh, there's the. Okay, those are the ones I need to go to. Fair enough. Those scrolls. Olive ambers, potions, magic neep. Alright, so fair enough. Ah, oh, let's do the wand first, being as we're right here, and pretty excited for this. This Ollivander himself is here. Can I just Okay, I'll just raid your shop before I even do anything. Whee. Sorry. I'll be right with who it's you. Oh. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, How does he know who I am? Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure. To meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful yeah. claws, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Yeah. Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How hmm. odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Um. Oh, God. Uh, maybe not. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. Are you good enough stock? No, not you. Yeah, you said that about the yeah, last one. Good. Thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ugh. Nope. 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 Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be Come on, mate. I had anticipated. How perplexing. I've only gone through two. Uh, are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might 
be the one. Here, take it. Oh, customization. Oh. Right, so, finalize one. We're having a look. One style. Oh, okay, we can have a look at what we want. Curious indeed. Yeah, I know. It looks like a twig. How intriguing. That I like. Uh... That I really like. Wood type. Uh, does it make Curious a difference? Uh, it does that this any any of this How make a difference? Or is this literally just cosmetic, pretty much? Curious indeed. Let me finish. So I don't know if any of this makes dif makes a difference, but how intriguing! I don't know what. I'm not a wood expert, so right. Curious uh, indeed. Size doesn't matter anyway. Um. Right. Um. How intriguing! Flexibility. Don't want it to be. Indeed. We don't want it to be too, too solid. On core options, okay. What difference does this make? And for producing consistent magic, great range of magic, or producing powerful magic. So basically, it's like. Strength, medium, and variety, I suppose. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. That's the one then, isn't it? Right, let us lock it in. What do you think? Ooh. Extraordinary. <laughs> That's the one. Another one, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> right. Job now, done. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you. Just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Right. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. Particularly in a moment of need. That what do you mean by that? Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Right, okay, one done. That didn't seem as particularly magical as I'd pictured it, but thanks anyway. Job done. We need to go... Three broomsticks. We're not off to the pub just yet. Zonko's joke shop. Um, I could just be you know, a normal human being and use my map, but um, this potion. Okay, we need to go back. I think. Right. Uh, well, I could follow the signs as well. Is. Um, yep. Welcome yep. to Jay Pippin's Potions. Potions. Mr. Pippin. 
Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Is it really? Harry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. The yellow print recipes, on the side, yeah. of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside. Oh, does everybody you. know about me? I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Mm -hmm. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Mm -hmm. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, please. What can I do for so, you today? So, basically... Okay, these are the... Oh, right, okay. Need that one. This is a potion that causes, causes a rocky film to develop in the petunia skin. I'll be just, okay, it's basically a shield potion and a health potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Not in a rush, but so basically, it sounds a bit less glamorous if it's just you know. Okay, these I've got already. Now, health potion, shield potion, pretty standard. Quick and roll potion. Idris potion. All right, thank you. Bye. Uh, now I need to do. I think it was the seeds place. Wherever that is. Magic need. I think that's it. Fresh produce seeds and fertilizer. That's the one. So I do a loop de loop. Yeah. Ah, and over the bridge. I think. I think that's maybe. That looks like it. There we go. Well, hello there. Sup? Who the hell are you? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. It is oh, indeed. Bad. Starting on walks is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cards Gathered as much. because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. I just thought he was the gardener or something. Seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Ditney seeds? That's what I'm here for. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. I think so. One of them cabbages, maybe. Um, I grow Ditney in small pots, right? That's what I'm here for. Take a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Sure of it. Um, fertilizer, sprig, what's this? Oh, seeds, triple, what? Triple fig, mellow sweet, not grow. Okay, no, that's pretty much. Oh, this is the cell. Okay, that's the stuff I have. Okay, fair enough. Okay, thank you. Bye. It, it looks like a flower thing, but anyway. Uh, tomes and scrolls is the next one. Where are, I'm guessing, I'm guessing where the scroll is. Okay, so a little bit away, away, not away, away, but away, away. Sorry. Okay, I wonder if. Okay, obviously not now, but if there'll be a chance to go through 
what is the other one called? Uh, Diagonelli or something. To sort of compare. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Sort of compare as an open sort of... This one? Yeah, this one. Ah, look that door. Sorry. An inquiring mind. That's me. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Indeed. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. Yeah, pretty much. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly He's something to aspire to. got a really nice voice. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I've too seen it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Hmm. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Wait, so this is the crafting bit. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Beast feeder, beast toy box, shopping station. Where am I going to be making these? Was this just on the fly? Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station. Perfectly suited for all your potion needs. Okay. Uh, potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Potting table with a small pot for plants. Blah, blah, blah. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of the two I'm a, I'm a bit broke, mate, unfortunately. So, well, thank that's you. That's everything. Bye. Better go and find Matty. Right, time for a cold one. Where's she gone? Right, we're supposed to meet Town Square somewhere here. Where the hell is it? Oh, there. I wonder how long she's been standing there. Hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> I went into. We should four. walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Not today. Ugh. Not today. It's got the matching um red thing. If God forbid it breaks something. Ah, never mind. Oh shit, dodge. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Um, I've already forgotten what we're doing. Oh shit. Okay. I can't block. It's purely a dodge scenario. Are we weakening him at all? Keep acting. We have to wait. I don't have that. Ancient magic, but what? What was that? Oh. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I let you do more. Oopsie. Oh, oh shit, no, 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 dodging the wrong way. Ah! Oh, shit, yeah, I do have a, I do have a healing story, so.
Oh, God. You would think you wouldn't be able to take too many of those. Again, the wrong way. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to break your staff. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, Wakanda. At least, at least you can do is if I'm gonna draw him away. At least you can do is attack him. There we go. Ooh, ancient magic. Go. I'm sorry. What? I just blew it the fuck up. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit I of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to I think help. So. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. <sighs> of course, oh, officer. Singer. Of course, officer so. Singer. And thank Sorry. you again. Oh, oh, so now we got to fix stuff. Good thing I've got just the spell. Repair nice. Um. There we go. Really? Your sign got knocked out. Oh, it's a trolley. One less thing for us to sing it to worry about. Oh, what is going on? Oh, I thought it was me. Awfully handy, this. Um, right, we've got to find some more damage. Is this damage? Repair. Apparently. What? What? <laughs> You okay? You okay there, buddy? I'm not gonna ask questions. Cat in the in the mail. Right, one more. Ah, okay, the giant mess. Come on, there we go. Uh, keeper. This one. Let me get some new threads. We were just talking about you. Where are you now? Hello, sir. I Hello, sir. We there. Allow me to introduce myself. Oh. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't mm -hmm. be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Bulletproof robes? I won't say no. Thank cool. you, Mr. Hill. Give him. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Let's have a look. 
Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, there's a fence, but oh. Additional score. I thought it was going to look at a reasonable bit cool. I'll take it. Piece of gear. Time to equip. I figured this out, I think. Current defense and offense are displayed at the top right. Okay, and obviously that depends on the stats of your gear. Cloaks and robes. Uh, right, that one, I guess. Whip. That's it? Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. I think idea. after all that, we Wonderful. need a bit of a stuff. Just down this way, then. Let's go. What? I sell even more battle-worthy items. Hold on. Should you be inclined? Yeah, hold on. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Hold on. Lumos. Nope, that's not the one. Nope. Oh, right, it's, it's not on the thingy. Revelio. Aha! Late back minute. I must admit, I forgot about that. And God forbid I've shuddered to think how much I've missed. It's gonna raid your shop quickly, though. That's alright. Don't look at me like that. Okay, I can't do anything here anyway. That. Can I? Yep, oh, yep, can't do anything. Let's go. What is that? T? Mind if I do? I don't know if that actually did anything. Well, that was just purely, again, a cosmetic thing. Right, off we go. Where are we going? Come on then. Off after you. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serana, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Who'd want to know? Right. Come on then. Dog already. Oh. Don't. No, no asking for it. Oh dear. You said you could get to the Chard when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this? Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the Chard, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. Yep, you blew it. Did they see us? Yep. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Who is Victor Rookwood? Rookwood is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. I'm lost. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. I'm lost. It's a treat to see you, Lord Goff. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Sorry to just barge in. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time nope. here. Welcome. Nope, nope, nope. Butterbeer's nope, nope. on me. Not gonna go there. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are. <coughs> Hello.
Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Got him. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Ooh. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. I can't be honest. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. I can't drink butter beer forever. Challenge accepted. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. I don't even know who he is. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ramrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I don't I know. to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I don't even know what I'm I supposed think to tell you. now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Didn't even get him up there. Cheeky. Rebellion. Oh, I'm going to take this back. There we go. Right, thank you. Um, bye. Yep, not going there. Not getting cancelled today. Uh, here we go. Now for it. Where are we going? Back to boss. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. I don't even know Professor what's going Weasley on. Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. The news travels fast, don't worry. Ah, oh, I can use the blue, blue, bloom things. Let's take the Hogwarts map. Fast travel to your common room. Is it that simple? This one? Ah, yeah. Nifty. Right, so a lot to think about. I don't know who this Rookwood dude is with his mate, whoever that was. They're clearly working with the bad guy. Bad Goblin, whatever the his, his name was. I can't remember. Um, yeah, a lot to take in. Right, back we are. be some sleep. Is this a new day? Okay. Well guys on that note I think we're gonna leave this episode here. Um right a lot to take in. We've gone to town, we've got our supplies, we've got a new wand, which was not as great out in the mail. Mail? Ah, it's a professor our professor friend too. Professor Fig. Come and see me. I discovered something in the locket we found in Gringo. Oh, okay. Well, that I believe we will leave for the next episode. Um, yeah, a lot done today. We went to town, got our supplies, got a new wand. Like I said, it was not as magical as I thought. Um, fought a troll, blew it up with some weird new voodoo stuff we can do. Um, and discovered a whole cast of new villains. This dude's work, a rookwood working with this. Ragnar? Rat? Something? I can't remember the name of the main bad guy, but a lot to uncover, a lot more mystery to go through. But yeah, like, subscribe if you want to see more. We'll uncover the rest of the mystery.